YouTube, what is going on? We are talking 80s TV shows today. It's your host, Dominic Arena, live with another DGA Live. Hanging out with Miss Chris. Hey. And uh, like I said, we're talking 80s TV shows today. So last week and the week prior, we talked 80s cartoons. We talked 90s cartoons, some of our favorites. We're continuing with that theme, and we're on 80s TV shows. So like always, we make the lists. Top five, uh, me and Miss Chris here, and we haven't shown each other what we picked. I'm just gonna discuss it here live on the channel. Now the only rule was is the TV show couldn't be a cartoon, right? Because we've already nailed that. Right, right. The TV show had to originally air in the '80s, so that's gonna exclude shows like uh, like Happy Days, which uh, kind of started in the '70s and made its way through the '80s. Um, Taxi. Another one of my favorites was in the 70s, made its way to the 80s. So, had to air originally in the 80s. Some of them are still going strong today, believe it or not. So, we're going to jump right into this and have Miss Chris kick it off with your number five. You're going to make fun of me. You're going to make fun of me. <laughs> because, let me tell you something before we get started. I grew up in the 80s, right? Well, so did but I. I was all about fucking cartoons. So, yes, I did watch these shows, and uh, I can relate to these shows, but I was all about fucking cartoons in the 80s. And there was well, like, yeah, you're, it's your younger... You're, I'm younger, your, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, go ahead. All right, number five came out in 86. Okay. Alf. Ha! <laughs> hey, really? I Willie! loved Alf. I had the, <laughs> the posters around my room. Um, loved it. Just... I was so sad when... Have you ever seen the Elf cartoon? Yes. Yeah, I didn't like it. No, I didn't like it either. Because it took place on his planet. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like the I liked the TV show. Elf is on my list. I'm not going to tell you where. It's in your top five? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, then we have two. I know we have two at yeah, least. Yeah, fuck at yeah. At least. I don't know what his top so, five is, but I'm guessing that we're going to have at least two now. I, was, I thought we'd have a decent amount in common, but I'm not going to tell you but where I was, it's at. But I was raised in the 90s, remember? Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> My number five is, I'm going to get shit for this one. Um, originally aired in 84, okay. made its way all the way to 92, and it's The Cosby Show. Okay, I didn't put that on my list. I like The Cosby Show. Yeah. You know, a lot of people fucking, oh, fuck Bill Cosby and all the bullshit that yeah, went yeah, down. Yeah. Back in the 80s, he was an icon. Right. right. The whole show, the fucking Huxtables, I grew up with the Huxtables. Yeah. There was a scene that I'll never forget where Theo gives this big heartfelt speech to his dad, you know, Bill Cosby, Dr. Huxtable, and uh, you hear the sad music, you know, they used to do this a lot in uh, Full House and shit, right, and the fucking, he'd sit there and he's like, but you know what, it's because, it's because you're my dad, and Bill Cosby goes, Theo, that has got to be the dumbest thing you have ever said to me, and that cracked me up. I'll never forget that scene. It was a great, great show. So yeah, the Cosby Show, top five. I grew yeah. up with that shit. It's a good one. I never, I never really watched, watched it too much. Um, I had other ones <laughs> <laughs> that I liked. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of animals. Go ahead. Yep. All right, number four, Roseanne. That is my number four. So oh, let's put them up. Let's put them up. Yeah! I think that's the first time ever that we've gotten one on the same one. It is. One. Yeah, it is. Eighty-eight. Yep. Actually, if you count the re not the reboot, kind of like the refresh, right, right. it went all the way up until 2018. Until yeah, recently. Until yeah. recently, Roseanne was fucking. We great. watched the newer ones at your mom's. The thing with Roseanne is, it takes place in uh, Langford, Illinois, which is like a made up. You know, it's not. There's not. I don't know of a town called Langford, but it reminded you of all the Chicago suburbs where I grew up, uh -huh. and that family is so goddamn relatable to my family. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Roseanne is my aunt. Which one? Aunt Jan. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I knew you were going to say that. That show is great. Uh, Dan Connor's hilarious. Everybody has their little perks and everything. And, uh, yeah, Roseanne, dude. It was you... a great one. Great show. Yeah. Great show. Uh, so, yeah, that was my number four. It was also Roseanne. So, we actually we actually got one of the same. Nice. Uh, go, go three, then. Number three is Full House, 87. Full House, I put as an honorable mention. I did watch it growing up. That's the other one I thought we were going to have matching. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Full House? I thought that yeah. would be in your top five. I actually like it more now with Fuller House. <laughs> yeah. 
It's then actually I did, really good. Then I did back that because house, yeah. um, and, and I always thought the what was it the Olsen twins? Mm-hmm. They're fucking rats. Oh yeah. Well, you I'm so I mean? and I'm so disappointed. We went uh, to uh, San Francisco a couple of years ago, last year, matter of fact, and we were two miles from, from the, house. The, the house, and we yeah. never went and saw. I kind of kicked myself in the butt for yeah, that. Yeah, we but... had a lot going on oh, it in was... San Fran. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, we missed that whole thing. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, Uncle Jesse, Jesse and the fucking Rippers. You know what I mean? He was always yeah. singing to everybody. Fucking Aunt Becky, who I'm mean, uh, Joey, uh-huh. you know, Joey Gladstone. Um, now, here's something, too. I don't know if you've ever seen this. Um, so, Bob Saget, who was known as the, the father, he was very clean, um, mm-hmm. very, like, TV sitcom dad of the, of the 80s. Watch his stand-up. If you ever watch is he Bob, he got is a bad mouth? dirty as yeah. fuck. Really? He is no dirty. Idea. He's got a real bad mouth. And when you hear him, he's talking about fucking sucking dick for cocaine and shit. Like, I mean, it is dirty I shit no idea. that you would never expect uh, right. Danny Tanner to have that type of shit. Right. So check that out. Hmm. Um, my number three originally aired in 87. It had a 10-year span. Is it Married with Children? Married with Children. That's that's my number two. That's your two? Yeah. That's my Married, number two. Oh, great show, man. Oh, I loved Married with Children. Who didn't think Kelly Bundy was the hottest shit on TV back then? Christina, yeah, probably. Christina, not me, not yeah. necessarily, but... Christina Applegate back in the 80s was a uh, sex symbol. But she was stupid, and that's what made it so show. funny. No, 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 right, on the show. I'm not saying in real life. But that's what made it so funny is, is she just hadn't... She lacked that common sense. It, she was right. great. And if you didn't, if you didn't grow up in the '80s or even the '90s, a lot of people didn't realize. I, I can't tell you how many people I talk to that I'm like, when I see Gemma from mm-hmm. Sons of Anarchy, I think of Peg Bundy. I do too. And they're like, who? I'm like, you don't know who Peggy Peg Bundy, Bundy is. And she looks totally different. Yes. Peggy Bundy had the red right. hair that was all poofed up, where Gemma's, you know, Gemma's a, a biker. more, yeah, biker. Yeah. More human like. Yeah, but oh yeah, freaking uh, <laughs> love and marriage. Yeah, and that was a great show. Uh, um, I've seen every single episode of that. Watched the seasons from start to to end. I never binged that. Oh, I did. I never binged it. Yep. The um, I remember watching them live when they mm-hmm. aired. Yep. Um, catch a couple reruns on freaking. Uh, I guess for me, the shit. biggest thing with that is growing up, I could never imagine a family that acted like that. You know, dad was a shoe salesman. When he came home, he was lazy as fuck. Where, you know, Peg, it just, their, Peg, their relationship yeah. was so... It was so, yeah, it was great. So, yeah, it was perfect. You couldn't stand her yeah. half the time. Yeah, and, and vice versa. Bud, uh, was it Bud? Uh-huh. Bud Bundy? I think so. Was a, he was a little horn dog. Yeah. Kelly was a ditzy blonde. And, and then the dog that always, always heard his thoughts. Yeah, that's right. I forgot uh-huh. about that. Yeah, and then the neighbors. Yep. Oh, right, you know, right. Um, I forgot their names, but they used to come um, all the time. Um, I want to say it starts with an M for some reason. Yeah, I want to say M too. I don't remember. If you remember the neighbor's name in... Uh, Maggie? I don't remember. I don't remember. But don't yeah, remember put it in the either. comments. Yeah. If you guys remember her name, just to you know, kind of let me go. Oh, yeah, that's it. Um, so what are we on? We on that two? Was, yeah, that, that was, was my, my number. number th- that was my... Three, my two. Okay. So we're on your two. What was your two? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I got you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fucking my two is Alf. Okay. So I moved Alf way up because I remember watching growing up. I had the fucking stuffed animal. Oh, I love all that. Now here's here's something. You know what Alf stands for? Alien life form. Yeah, alien life form. And uh, there was video games made on him. Mm-hmm. There was breakfast cereals. I mean, there I was like that. there was. Elf fever in the 80s. I watched the heck out of it. You always show. try to eat the cat. Yeah, you right, know what I mean? Right, hey, woo! Right. You know, fuck it. And I think you could actually stream old old episodes of Elf on the Hallmark channel. Out of all places. I remember seeing it on there and I was like, no way. That would be awesome. I would watch, fuck I would it, binge hey. watch that. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah, for sure. That was a great show. So random. Um, go ahead, number one. This is my all-time favorite. Oh, mine, mine was an easy number one. Number mine was too. Saved by the Bell. Okay, okay. I didn't put. I didn't watch that. No, oh, I didn't. I didn't watch that type of shit. The uh, I wasn't into the Teener Bopper shit until probably late nineties. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. Well, uh, I probably really didn't get into this until the nineties either. But it aired in eighty nine. 
if you think right. about it, in, in 89, well, I was eight years old. Yeah. So really, honestly, I probably didn't really pick it up on it until... Until what it In the early right. 90s or so. But right, I watched right. the heck out of that. One of my favorites. Yeah. And I know you've always talked about it, too. Mm-hmm. You remember their names and all mm-hmm. that shit. I just remember Mario Lo- Lopez. Kelly and, Kapowski. Uh, what's his name? Dusty Diamond? Uh-huh, yeah. Fucking Who is now, uh, like, a porn star He's a porn or star, or and, and I think he, he wrestles. Or he, something. He, or he did a, a celebrity wrestle or some shit. Something like that, yeah. I don't know. And then the Zach Screech. with the big huge... Yeah, Screech. Yeah. And then Zach with the big huge flip phone. He was known for yeah. that. Yeah. AC Slater. Slater. Yeah, I don't... I couldn't tell you Kelly Kapowski. Oh, Kelly was... Yeah, Kelly was pretty hot. She was the hot one. Yeah, if I remember right. I mean, I think they were all really pretty. There was Jesse. Jesse, uh, um, which is Slater's girlfriend. The blonde with the curly hair. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um... What was the other girl's name? Couldn't tell you. Yeah, I, I never watched. It just I never watched my mind. the show. Yeah, yeah I, I saw maybe two episodes my entire life. But, <laughs> Did uh, you really? Yeah, I never watched the show. Hmm. Didn't give a rat's ass. About yeah, it. but there's the one that that um, Screech was in love with. The other girl. I couldn't tell. The black girl. <gasps> the black girl. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't uh, know I can't remember her name for some reason. Couldn't tell you. Should have done my research. I forgot all about that though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my number one was pretty easy. I had kind of a hard time with my whole list. But uh, my number one was pretty easy because I obsessed over it as a kid. It was um, Knight Rider. Oh, okay, okay. 82 yeah. to 86. Um, that Michael to me... Knight was played by the Hoff. Is, isn't the, that um, a movie? They, now, like, they, yeah, I know they made they, it into a movie. They did some me. spinoffs with it. And here's the thing how much I liked Knight Rider growing up. You remember Big Wheels? The, the toys. No, oh, you, you the ones you rode. ride in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yes. yeah. So you, you pedaled the front yep. wheel. Um, I had a Knight Rider Big Wheel growing up. With the freaking little kit light in the front. Um, and then when I was 17, I actually had a 1986 Trans Am. I do remember that. And I was that. like, yeah. I was like, dude, yeah. this is my, this is kit. And here's something that you may not know. You know who voiced the car back in the 80s? You ever see a show called Boy Meets World? Oh, yeah, yeah. You remember Mr. Feeney? Yes. Mr. Feeney. Oh, I was at the fair uh some years ago, probably five, six years ago, and they had the Knight Rider car there. The actual real Knight Rider car. Yeah, yeah. It's always and, there. And they uh, they slightly... And then they, they tried bringing it back a while ago, and it was like a Mustang, if I remember correctly. And I'm like, this is bullshit. I didn't even watch it. I gave it one episode, and I said, no, fuck this. I'm done with this. If it's not the, the original, that theme song... Uh-huh. Had that fucking... Uh, yeah, the talking car kit, and then Michael Knight. It was just it was just an action thing. So that's gonna bring me to my first honorable mention. Okay. And um, I kind of struggled on putting it in here. Um, the A Team. Oh, okay. Fucking Mr. Not, not T. Big into that. Yeah, Mr. Not T was team. hot in the '80s, man. Yeah. He was in the Rocky movies. Fucking Mr. T, pity fool. Fucking yeah, he was everywhere in the '80s. He had his own fucking cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. T, they're little teas. Right. It's a fucking little cornmeal <laughs> teas. You know what I mean? But fucking yeah, the A team was cool too. That 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 kind of reminded me of uh, that whole '80s action TV shows. Was you know Knight Rider, uh, the A team, Magnum PI, Miami Vice. That was all fucking '80s. I remember all that shit. So, mm-hmm. what do you got for animals? Golden Girls. The Golden 85. Girls. That's classic. <laughs> yep. Cheers. 82. Uh, Cheers made my honorable. Yep. Who's the boss? Who's the boss? 84. I Fucking watched, and I had a hard time. Up. Yeah, I had a hard time with that one because I did watch that one a lot with a kid as a kid, but it just couldn't. It, it it didn't make it into my top five. Right. Um, another one that I watched a lot. I think it was Nickelodeon Punky Brewster. A punky. Remember the one she wore the, oh, the belt on punky. her head? Yeah, yeah. She had the rainbow vest and shit yep. and all that stuff. Yeah, and then I did Family Matters. You know what that life. reminds me of? I bet you it's 80s. You, um, there was a show called, uh, I totally forgot about it. It was called Small Wonder. It, yes, it was. With the robot. With the robot. Girl. That yeah. actually used to, uh, before, when we had actually TV, before we got this TV. And yeah, we had, yeah, like, yeah, you're basic, talking yeah, CRT shit. Yeah. No, before we had the, this TV and you get the regular local channels. Okay. TV uh, that cu- came on. I used to watch that all the time. It came on one of the old timey channels. It was no that one. So like Nick and Knight? No, 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 no. It was a channel that played all the older TV shows. Like that one. It used to play uh, Bewitched and um, Bewitched, yeah. 
What's the other one? Uh, I Dream a Genie. That's so I used to watch yeah. all three of those. I oh, and, and like Love um, Love Boat? Or what's the one with... Who's Love Boat? Is it Love Boat? Love yeah. Boat! The, um... That used to come on the I remember all the shit on Nick and Knight. Nick and Knight just played that shit back to back. They played yeah. shit from the 60s, 70s, 80s. Yeah. The, um... Couple honorables I got is, um... I put Family Ties. Because freaking uh, Michael J. Fox, man, mm -hmm. he was hot in the eighties, dude. Yeah. He was doing the Teen Wolves. He was doing Back to the Futures. Um, so I kind of followed that because of Michael J. Fox. Uh, Perfect Strangers came out in '86 with Balky. You remember that? You remember mm -hmm. Perfect Strangers? Mm -hmm. That was just a comedy show. It was pretty good. Um, said Cheers. Now there was two shows that came out in '89, and one of these shows, actually both these shows, I fucking loved. Love these shows. But the thing was, is I didn't watch them in '89. I watched them in the 90s, so I left them off my list. First one was Seinfeld. Ah, uh, yeah, right? I left off my list because of that. Yeah. <laughs> <The>, uh, <laughs> so you got fucking Seinfeld. I didn't watch it in 89. I probably got into Seinfeld by like 93. I was even later than that you know with I mean? Seinfeld. Fucking yeah. uh, Kramer's just mm -hmm. hilarious. No soup for you. And then uh, Tales from the Crypt. Oh, I forgot that was the 80s. That was 89, but I didn't start watching it in probably in 93, 94. Right. The, um, so you were older. Yeah, you know, when I hit my teens. Mm -hmm. So fucking, uh, yeah, those were great shows. So I gave them honorable mentions because they were actually released in the 80s. Yeah, right. So, booyah, that is it. So, as I always say, let me know in the comments what is your top five, top ten. Um, I love reading that stuff. I always check it. I check it periodically and see what you guys write. And you'd be surprised. I see stuff that I didn't even think of. Mm -hmm. You know, um, just a couple on the on the cartoons one that we did last week. I was like, oh shit, yeah. The funny thing great. is, is I always Google my my uh, results before I create my answers, and there's still things that come up that weren't even on my Google. Like when I Googled to see what the... I only Google it if I need to know the year. Oh, wait, well, I need to know every year, so... You know what I mean? Because I'm like, did that <laughs> come out? That. Like, if we're in a year and I'm like, hey, did that come out in the 80s? I'll Google it. But usually I'm like, okay, that came out in the 80s. That came out in the 80s. And I write it down. And then I go back and grab the exact years. But, uh, yeah. So, as I was saying, I leave it... Uh, in the comment section below, let me know which uh, some of your guys' favorite uh, 80s TV shows. Join us next week. We're going to tackle 90s, and then uh, I think we're going to get back on gaming for a little bit. There's some gaming news I want to touch base on. But uh, be sure to hit us up on Twitter. I am at Goat5150. We got Chris Dial over here, and then Arena5150 on Instagram. And also be sure to hit that subscribe button. It helps us out a lot. Um, and I've said this in other videos. Once we hit that 300 mark, we have uh, some giveaways we want to start doing. So hit that subscribe button. It helps us out. And we will catch you guys on the next one. Until then, peace and hair grease. Bye.